Welcome back, heroes and YouTube family. This is Christian, back in another video just for all of you guys. We're gonna be talking about part two now of everything that has been done on the rear portion of the car now, how it's sitting, how it is looking, um, and my thoughts on it. If you guys haven't seen part one, we talked about the mirrors, we talked about the front splitter, we talked about the gloss black wrap on the side, and kind of overall how the front is looking as far as the mods that I've done in the previous few videos, my thoughts on them, how I feel about them, do I like them, and do they fit the car? Uh, but part two now is gonna be all about the rear, guys. So you might see some of the rear portion of the car already, but we're gonna go ahead and get into that right now. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. If you don't follow the dream, subscribe button. Like I always keep saying, guys, go after your dreams, make them reality. Let's have a good video, guys. Let's get it, peace. All right, so this is the rear of the car now. Um, if you haven't seen the other video, we got this black wrapped, and I think this came out perfect. Absolutely love the black wrap that we did here. I think this matches the car very, very well. Um, it makes the rear look so much more aggressive. You know, the rear was really nice, but I think this black also, with this body line being like that, it really showcases kind of the w the width of the hips. It makes the diffuser look more aggressive. It looks a, makes the bumper look like it's much more angled now. Uh, and adding kind of the black also made it so this red on the bottom really stand it out. So make sure you guys go ahead and check out that video. Uh, that's a wrap video. Woo, it's cold out here. <laughs> uh, but anyway, what I got installed is going to be these rear spats. So these rear spats I got in gloss black, as you guys can tell from now, from the, the theme of the car, to match. Uh, the rear really like kind of stops here, but with this rear spat, um, a lot of people have it built into the diffuser. Uh, but the rear spat goes all the way here now. So it is like really, really aggressive in the rear. So it really makes the car have a wider kind of looking stance. It's gonna look amazing when I get my wheels and tires in. Definitely makes the diffuser look more aggressive. Like, it's just, I don't, I don't know, it's the same diffuser and everything, but just with the wrap in the rear and the diffuser, it makes everything look that much wider. And this is actually going to be the gloss black spoiler. It's actually the bigger one, more aggressive. There's a few. Um, I always look at it as like the little devil horns. That's how I kind of distinguish the different spoilers on these Supras. I've been going back and forth on so many different spoilers, so many different wings. I've been going on the forums. I've been trying to see like a nice combination. Uh, is it, are these spoilers big enough? would not be aggressive enough. You know, I've looked at, shout out to A90 Shop, I've looked at their Delta Wing. Uh, might still be interested in getting a Delta Wing, by the way. I've looked at the C-Bond Wing. That's kind of like this, the uh, MK4 Super Style. I looked at the TRD Super Wings. Looked at so many different performance wings. Uh, but I found that this spoiler is the perfect option. Like, there's something about this that is very Viper-like to me. I'm a very big fan of the Dodge Viper. In this side, the you know the wide arches, the rear with the spoiler, it does have a Dodge Viper-esque type of stance. And that's kind of what I was looking for. That's kind of what I was going for as far as the car. I want you guys to see, it's not super high, but it is really, really high. Like it's actually higher than I thought it was gonna be. And I love how it's like the perfect blend. Not too small, not too high, especially since it already has a built-in kind of duck bill in the trunk. This doesn't need to be that high. This is just the perfect, perfect size. It is very amazing though, just to see exactly how different these cars can look by literally just spending $200 on a spoiler. I think that was like $50, $60 for the rear spats and then paying for the black wrap on the back and just how it just makes everything look so much better. Like the GR, the black and the red really matches the diffuser. It matches the tail lights, the black and the Supra, the black and the badge just matches everything with the black and the red. Uh, so my thoughts are so far, it is perfect. I can't decide if I like the front more or if I like the rear more. And when you have a car that has both, uh, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful combination. You know, uh, I'm gonna do a review of this Supra. I still have to do a review of the Type R ownership. I have to do a review of the STI versus the Type R. I still have so many things I have to do for this car. But for what you're able to do with this car and how transformative you can really make these cars, 
for literally how cheap it costs. You know, I'm gonna do a whole build breakdown of everything I've done so far to even just get the car like this. You know, with everything here, you know, I'm even, even coming in here, even all the different carbon fiber bits, all the different kind of materials in here, kind of everything. I'm gonna do a whole build profile, uh, even the stuff in the engine bay, as far as what you can do to transform these cars and how cheap it really is to do. It does not cost a lot at all. All right, so it is starting to rain, so I'm about to bring the car inside, but let me show you guys exactly how the rear looks when we are in reverse. So I'm gonna put the camera down so you can see how it looks uh, from the rear now. <laughs> You know, I like to wipe it down, just keep it nice and clean. I might be a little OCD, but I wanna make sure I clean and keep the car looking really nice. Uh, but damn, like look at this, like under nice lighting, you guys can really now see kind of how just great the white and the black looks. Like look how mean that is, look how, oh, I love this car, man, I love this car. Light, you guys can get a better idea. Let me wipe it down real quick for you. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, look how clean that looks. Woo! All right, so we're back in the interior now. And you see, this is the only piece that's really that plastic stuff still. We still have the carbon fiber everywhere. And we also got the nice rings now. Uh, but what I wanted to do was just clean it up. So this is the last piece. So I got a carbon fiber piece for this as well. So we're gonna go ahead and change it just like this. All right, heroes, this is how it came out. Like I said, it matches perfectly to this. It does keep like that gloss black part, which I really, really like. It just covers up the plastic um, pieces on the sides, but it does match the carbon fiber that you see throughout the interior and the engine bay. Uh, very, very easy, very, very clean. The fitment is really good. I got this on Amazon. Uh, very, very simple to install, like I said, um, but it does keep the gloss black, which I really, really like here and it's just like a back rear cover almost so it just really kind of covers more of the rear part and the sides so like when you see on the sides it covers up the sides you see it here it covers up the sides uh and it keeps a nice carbon fiber and it keeps a nice gloss black so it does a good job of just matching but overall yeah that, that's how it looks on the inside in closing we finished up the interior bay we got the carbon here carbon there red climate controls carbon red carbon carbon Ooh. all right youtube family so this is how it is looking dang i love how this is looking yeah i i actually like it much cleaner without the black i think it looks just not as cheap and i really really like how this looks now uh without the black uh but overall this is so dope man i love this car Man, I got a Supra and a Corvette, man. Like, how awesome is that, guys? How awesome is that? Um, but thank you guys so much. Uh, hit the like button if you guys like the video. Hit the subscribe button, follow the journey. Like I always keep saying, guys, go after your dreams and make them reality. Everyone have a great day, blessed day, y'all. Stay safe, peace.